Hey everyone, this is Travis from Frontline Action here. Today we're doing videos showing all the different activities we offer at our indoor and our outdoor locations. Uh, it's a little bit confusing on the website to try to understand exactly what the activity is, and even on the phone it's kind of hard to explain. So we're doing a video showing the guns, how they work, the safety gear required, what they shoot, and unfortunately for me, I'm going to get shot with each of them just to, you know, so you guys kind of can see what it's like to get shot. Alright, so today we're doing airsoft. This is the standard airsoft gun we use at our field. There are a couple different variants of it, but this is the basic one. Uh, there's M4s, MP5s, you know, it's a couple different options, but overall, internally, they're all the same gun. Uh, they all shoot around 400 feet per second, which may seem higher than a paintball gun, but it's actually a much smaller projectile with a lot less weight, so it doesn't sting as bad as a paintball. It's kind of a different impact. Uh, so this gun, it's battery powered, so there's no gas, there's no tanks. This is everything required to play as far as gun goes. So I just put on semi, semi-auto, and full auto. So they can shoot pretty, they can shoot pretty fast. Uh, the magazines hold 450 rounds. Some of them only hold 200. Kind of depends on the group and the gun that you're using. And for ammo, they shoot six millimeter BBs. I don't know if you guys can pick those out there, but they're six millimeters. Uh, they only weigh 0.2 of a gram, so they're extremely light. Uh, it's more of a pinch. I like a paintball that has a big, kind of like it hits a bit of a weight behind it. BBs are more of a sharp pinch because they're so small and they're going a bit faster. So they tend to hurt a little bit less. They hurt a little more on bare skin, but as long as you have long sleeves on and no exposed skin, uh, it's actually less than a paintball because they do show, slow down a lot quicker than a paintball does once it hits you. As for safety equipment, same as paintball. You get a full face mask with side coverage and protects your ears. Doesn't cover the top of your head, but it does cover uh, the front and the sides and a bit of your neck. Uh, you can wear hats and stuff, but it's not too common to get hit in the top of the head or the back. So put it on just so you guys can see it. And airsoft. Airsoft at our field is for ages 13 and up. Uh, that's to do with the higher velocity. The equipment's actually a little bit lighter than the paintball guns. It only weighs about five and a half pounds. But where it is a faster projectile, we use 13 years old as minimum age for our field. Now, for my least favorite part, I'm going to let somebody shoot me so you guys can see what it's like to get shot with them. Hit me in the same spot.